Got a question regarding forks. Forks. Yeah, yeah. This is, and I want to roll this by our listeners uh, and, and see if we can maybe drum up a couple of phone calls here. What is the proper way to use a fork? And there are certain eaters that use a fork a certain way and it bothers me. I, I have like a, a visceral reaction when I see people use a fork. I'm talking about an eating utensil, a fork, in a certain way. Do you know what I'm talking about? I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but I'm trying to think of different ways you can use a fork. So are you an upside eater or are you a backward eater? I am upside. Tines pointing toward you. Right. Concaved in. So the top of the fork is how you feed yourself. Yes, right. Same thing. So with me... When I see people do the backward fork eating, you know, where they'll use the fork and they'll like spear a piece of chicken or a piece of steak, and then they eat it in a backward fat. You know what I'm talking about? Very cavemanish yeah, so, if they use utensils. Yeah, so the back of the fork yeah. faces you, let's say, across the table. Where it's more of a jabbing of the food instead of yeah. a... Yeah, well, it's like a jab, and then you feed yourself, and it's kind of the fork is... The back side of the fork is facing other people. I hate that. Yeah. I hate the backward fork eating. I don't know what it is, but it, it pisses me off. It angers me. So what is Fester, I, I I meant to look this up, but what is the proper way to eat with a fork? Is it right side up or is it upside down? So I just typed into Google, yeah, backward fork eaters, yeah, and the first thing that popped up is a question on a forum. These forking eaters. <laughs> why, <laughs> why do people from England eat with their fork upside down? Is that where it started? I, I mean, I don't know. It's like Henry the Eighth or something. Where where this start? Yeah, it was King Louis. <laughs> King Louis. <laughs> King Louis. No, but it. serious. I, I mean, what percentage of people are like upside fork eaters versus the backside fork eaters? I want to go to the fork and phones right now. Let's go. Let's 800. I'm, this is the stuff that keeps me up at night. But I recently, while out, it and I made a note about this because I'm, I was at a restaurant. Was and, it the Olive Garden? And, was it Valentine's Day? It was, as a matter of fact. <laughs> it's the last restaurant the, I think you went to. The booth right across from me, the guy was backward fork eating. What was he eating? Uh, it was. I think it was a ravioli thing. Oh, that's a yeah. convenient one to backward fork because yeah. you stab each and ravioli. I, I, I just don't like it. I hate it. It just pisses me off. It's like, it's just awkward. It angers me. I like using a fork and you use it like a like a scoop and you feed yourself with the fork facing up versus the people that spear the food and then they, they feed themselves with the fork, you know, backward. I, I just I don't I don't like that. All right, let's go to the let's go to the fork and phones right now. Uh, if you'd like to weigh in on this, and which way do you eat? I gotta believe it's it's a small percentage of people that eat with the fork facing what I think is the non natural way. It's like a it's like an unnatural fork act. All right, I mean eight hundred nine nine zero one zero four seven. Let's grab a couple of calls on this thing. I mean, the things that keep me awake at night, folks, 800-990-1047. Look, every, every, every line, line. Is, every single line has jammed up here. And I think, I think we've described this well. I think people know exactly what I'm talking about. You grab a, fo- a fork, you get your food on the fork, and you kind of just, you know, feed yourself with the, the fork on a, on, on a normal uh, horizontal plane and you just roll the fork into your mouth like it's uh, an upside shovel, all right? Whereas the people that use the weird fork tactic is they spear the fork, uh, they, with the, 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 they spear the food with the fork, and then they feed themselves like backward. Like they're eating off of a mini trident or yeah, something, it, just stabbing it, the yeah. food and eating it. Yeah. I, I just, I don't like that. All right, let me grab phones on this. Every line... Every single phone line is jammed up here. Dave is in Tampa. 
on the MJ Morning Show. Hi, Dave. Welcome. Hey, good morning. Hey. So, um, yeah, uh, I think it's a dexterity thing because just like I think the, the – like the um, chopsticks is the ultimate dexterity. You got to know how to hold something. Same thing with a fork. You hold it a certain way where it goes between one finger. You kind of, it's kind of grace, uh, graceful where some people don't have that dexterity. And I think they got to hold it a certain way or they were never taught when they were younger. Same thing like eating mouth open, mouth closed. Yeah. Kind of thing. I think it all ties in together. All comes and, down and, to and dexterity. It, and it could be like a mental disability thing, you know, like a, a little bit of something that, you know, zapping all the way to the fingers. If I had a- oh, hold on. Dave, Dave, are you saying that the person sitting across from MJ at Olive Garden eating raviolis had mental issues? <laughs> it's like very slight. You know, it's the same way of like how people, you know, dribble a basketball or, you know, you know, play play with the drumsticks or you could do that thing with with your pen that some people can't do, you know, like play like a like a baton, like I can't do that, but I can mm. unplug something with one hand, like from the extension cord and be like, how did you know all with one hand? It's because I don't know, I got a little more dexterity and yeah. some fingers and others is my take on it. Dave, Maybe. thanks for the call. Appreciate it. All right. So before I go back to phones, I found a plastic fork in the back of the studio here. Yes. It's in the wrapper. And I just want to demonstrate on MJ TV exactly what I'm talking about. So if I'm eating my food, Oh, Fester, you've got... Yeah, Fester, Andrew you, brought in some oh, plasticware oh, here as well. I, I found this in the back. All right, so Fester's got a fork as well. So right now on MJTV, I just want to show you this. So this is the way I eat. I pick up my food with the fork, and I feed myself like this. What I'm talking about are the people that will cut their steak, and they'll stab the meat, and they feed themselves like this. So I'm 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 I'm, de- I'm, I'm demonstrating this. Really works this. well on the radio. But we're on but we're, but we're, but we're on MJT. We have thousands and thousands of people that view us on MJTV every you day. Get what you're talking so about? So I'm um, on. If you want to take a look, you go to mjmorningshow.com. You click on MJTV, and of course, uh, it's too late to watch us. Well, no, because on the stream you can roll it back. Yeah, you can watch yeah. it. Yeah. So you can go to mjmorningshow.com whenever you want. You click on MJTV on the nav bar on the top, and then you can watch us streaming live uh, during the 6 to 10 show, Monday through Friday. Or you can always click and then uh, roll the video back. And then, of course, after the show, every single show is archived. So you can go back and watch today's show later tonight or tomorrow or Sunday or whatever. Anyway, so on MJTV, I just demonstrated uh, I hate the backward fork eating, man. It just drives me freaking nuts. Let me grab Ron in Seminole. Ron, you're on the MJ Morning Show. Uh, good morning. Uh, long time listener. Yep. So I I eat it right, what I call right side up. I'm right handed, but I cannot use a fork in my right hand for some reason. So I'm a left handed fork eater. Um, but I did know a girl that she ate it, what I call upside down. Yeah. I asked her why. And she said there was a time that she was eating, and she jabbed the roof of her mouth with the fork, so that had turned her off. That just totally turned her mind off of eating it right with the fork the right way. What the hell was she doing with the fork? Was she, she like OJ'd her mouth? Yeah, she. I, I asked her. I said, "I said, was somebody trying to steal your food? You're shoveling it in so fast. <laughs> what? She, you know, I'm, I couldn't make sense as to how you jabbed the top of your roof with your mouth." So that turned her against, like, normal upside fork eating. She had a Uh, traumatic fork incident. Thank you. Melissa is next on the MJ Morning Show. Melissa, welcome to the broadcast. Go ahead. Hey. um, I wanted to call and let you know, I think it depends on what you're eating. So, like, I, I eat upside down with my fork if I'm eating steak and, like, I have to cut the steak. I cut with the fork upside down, but if I'm eating anything other than that, I use the fork like normal people. All right, so it's food dependent. You're an upside down fork user when it comes to steak. Yeah. So well, what like about also, what about chicken or a pork chop? Yeah, yeah. If anything, I have to cut. Right. I feel like I I eat with the fork upside down. Interesting. But then if I'm eating anything else, I eat right side up. All right, thank you, Melissa. Todd is in Clearwater. Todd, MJ Morning Show, you're next. Hi, Todd. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, I've been to Europe. I've been to Kiev, Prague, uh, Donetsk region, Mariupol, and they eat with the fork upside down. Yeah. I never, I never knew that because <laughs> I was always taught to eat with it upside. Yeah. 
but they eat with it upside down over there, and they get offended if you eat with it right side up, as you, as you call it. Those boorish Americans. <laughs> How dare they? <laughs> Todd, the thanks for the call. Susie in St. Pete. Susie, MJ Morning Show, you're up. Hi. Hi, good morning, MJ. Hey there. Hey, I've always associated people that uh, upside down fork eating from uh, being in prison. <laughs> well, why? They're hunched over and they stab their food. You know, they're like protecting their food, leaning over their plate and stabbing it. Ugh. Did you see that like in Shawshank or something? I saw it, yeah, I saw it there. I saw it, uh, yeah, I see it on TV. They they hunch over their plate and they like they're protecting their food. Interesting. And, yeah. Thank you, Susie. Have a great weekend. Jessica, all right, two more, Andrew, and i got to move on here because we're about to end uh, an hour and 20 minutes plus of nonstop MJ. Jessica Largo, MJ Morning Show. Hey, Jessica. Hi, how are you? Uh, what's up? Uh, I, I am glad I'm in, listening to you all the time, but I get so upset when I go to the restaurant. First of all, I was taught I grew up in South America and Chile, and we get we got classes, how to put the silverware in the side, how to use the fork, when to use it, when All right, to so, Jessica, in, in Chile, in Chile, how do they teach you to eat? Uh, fork upside or the fork upside down? Well, when you cut, okay, you cut, and then you turn it over, you grab it with the right hand, you hope with the knife to put the food on it, and then you grab it and you eat with the right hand. Uh, with the proper way, like you said, but there are some people they grab the whole fork with the whole hand, like they are grabbing a oh yeah a tool. Oh, that's another thing. The people that like grab the fork like they fist it. Right, they're, right. They're, and they're, I saw my they're, husband. They're fork and fisting, me. man. They're fisting their fork. <laughs> I <laughs> wish they will have a school. I will open a school for the kids in America to teach him how to eat. I think that's a great business model. Yes. <laughs> hey, Jessica, great phone call. I appreciate you listening. You open that school, MG will do commercials for <laughs> Thank you. you. Yes. Hi, it's MJ for uh, <laughs> Right Way Fork Academy. All right, last call on this, and then I got to move on. Dallas and Tampa, final say on backward fork users that drive me crazy. <laughs> so what it is is uh, we're all used to the American etiquette where – we cut it, and then we eat it upside the normal way that we always think. But in Europe, they have the European etiquette, which is the way that we see everything. You can really see it when, like, Gordon Ramsay um, tests the people dishes, tests people's dish. And oh, he, he does that. Yeah, That's you're right. right. Yeah. Gordon Ramsay. I never noticed That's it. That's right. Yeah. He's a backward fork eater. Oh, man. And then, and then the other etiquette, which uh, Susie was talking about, is called prison etiquette where you grip the hole and fork with your hand because you hover over your plate and anyone that comes to, like, take your food, you either elbow them with one way or you stab them with a fork. Yeah, you the stab them in the eyeball with it. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate the call, Dallas. No problem. Wow. Anyway, I Dallas mean, is very cultural. I mean, he knew about Europe and my, he knew about prison. My bizarre observations certainly trigger a yeah. crap load of phone calls, don't they? I'll tell you what, man. All right. Did you confront the guy at Olive Garden? Did you say, I'm, hey, listen, I'm you just waiting now. Phone? I'm just waiting. Next time I'm out, that the people that are listening to the show, if they like Michelle and I might head out to dinner tonight, uh, and uh, I wonder if wonder if anyone is gonna like uh, just for the hell of it use the fork the backward yeah. way because they heard about it on the show. If they recognize me later tonight, uh, if that's the case, I'll. I'll shoot some video. Well, now that I know that it pisses you off, I will only eat that way around. All right, 8.53 at the MJ Morning Show.